All right, this video is going to explain numbers one through three on your review sheet. All right, in numbers one through three, number one in particular, let's start with that one. It says that line BM right here is perpendicular to segment AC. And I forgot to put my, to indicate my right angle. So I'm gonna draw that little square there to indicate my right angle. So it's perpendicular. So we know that BM is perpendicular to AC. And then also that AM is congruent, or segment AM is congruent to segment CM. So I've marked that as well. Now they also tell us that AM is four. Okay, so I've got that. Now number one says define CM. So if they've told me that AM is congruent to CM, and if AM equals four, then CM must also equal four. Okay, so that's the answer number one, four. Next one, again, it tells us that line BM is perpendicular to segment AC, and that segment AM is congruent to segment BM, sorry, CM. AM is congruent to segment CM. It says to find BC. So the, your perpendicular bisector theorem, you wanna go back and look in your geometry sketch, forget that one, it says that if a point, point B, this is the point we're looking at today, if a point lies on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment, all right? We know it lies in the perpendicular bisector because this line is perpendicular and it bisects AC. So if that's true, if AB is 12, then BC must also be 12. Again, a point that lies in the perpendicular bisector of a segment, of a, of a segment is perpendicular, sorry, back up again. A point that lies on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. So B is the same distance from A as it is from C, which means this side is 12. That means this side must also be 12. Okay, number three. So BC, let me write that down for number two, BC equals 12. All right, next one. Number three says BM, line BM, again, is the perpendicular bisector of AC. So we've got that settled. Because, the rest of the sentence says, because AD equals CD, and they both equal 17, what can I conclude about point D? All right, so what I can conclude about point D if it is equidistant from the endpoints of this segment, it must lie on the perpendicular bisector of that segment. That is the converse of your perpendicular bisector theorem. It says if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then it must lie on the perpendicular bisector of that segment. So what I can conclude about number three, what can I conclude about point D, is that it lies on the perpendicular bisector of AC. It must lie on line BM because BM is the perpendicular bisector of AC.